And finally, after 10 years of waiting, finally, we got it. Let's discuss. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. The moment we've all been waiting for has finally come, GTA 6. Yes, this time there are no rumors from questionable sources. Rockstar has finally given us the first trailer of GTA 6, and let me just say, they did not disappoint. I will be picking out some of the interesting details from the trailer, such as the buildings, cars, and even landmarks that I thought were pretty cool. Uh, I know I'm a bit late getting this video out, but I've been busy with school and I thought that it would be better late than never to get this video out. But with all that out of the way, let's talk GTA 6. So the first screenshot I wanted to talk about was the opening of the trailer. We have a beautiful sunset in the background. I love how you can see the reflections of the sun bounce off the highway, which kind of showcases how good the graphics are going to be. It's kind of hard to pick out any new vehicles here, uh, but overall, I do really like uh, the setting of how the trailer started with the water in the background and everything like that. And it just really looks like a nice shot of Vice City here. Up next, we have our first look at one of the playable main characters for GTA 6, Lucia. With this scene taking place in a prison, I'm going to take a guess and say that this event is probably going to take place somewhere within the prologue of the story. Again, that's not confirmed, but that's just my guess. Moving on to the next screenshot, we get our first look at the beaches of Vice City. You can not only see how populated the beach is, but you can also see the many big buildings in the background that are going to be in the game. My hope is that they have pretty nice interiors so we can explore a good amount of them. In the next screenshot, we see something I'm glad is making a return, hovercrafts. I remember playing GTA Vice City and Vice City Stories riding around in the hovercrafts so it only makes sense that they make a return here in GTA 6. I hope there, there's a good amount of them that we can drive and explore Vice City with. These next two screenshots show us our first look at the car scene in GTA 6. Starting from the left, it looks like we have cars from GTA 5 such as the Primo and the Chino. In the middle, we have the Granger 3600 LX, and to the right of that, it seems like we have the Tulip M100 on docks, so it seems like there will be new customization for that car. Behind that, it looks like we have the Voodoo, also with new customization too. Then, behind that, we got a new variant of the Chrysler 300 or the PMP 700. I missed the PMP 600 from GTA 4, and I'm looking forward to to driving this in GTA 6. In the second part, we get another look at the Tulip M100 on donks, a new bike of some sort, and if you look closely, we not only see the Inus Jubilee from GTA Online, but it also seems to have some updated interiors as well too, which is to be expected, but still glad to see it. From looking at these two screenshots, it seems like the car scene is going to have a big role in this game, and I'm really, really happy about that as a car guy. The next screenshot shows us an aerial view of the city at night, which looks amazing. I love how you can see the different buildings, which tells us that the map size is going to be huge. It's kind of hard to depict some new cars in this screenshot, but overall, it looks amazing. This next screenshot shows off a lot here. We got cars, buildings, and overall a familiar place. For those who have played GTA Vice City, might recognize this place as this was part of the introduction to Vice City. As for the cars, we have some from not only GTA Online, but it also looks like we have some new ones as well too. Starting off with some a car that somewhat looks like a Lamborghini Aventador. We also have the Gauntlet Hellfire, Comet S2, Cheetah Classic with what looks to be a new logo, the Carbon is Air, and the Coquette D10. And those were the cars that I was able to make out from this photo. In the next screenshot, we have an aerial view of the highway, which kind of seems reminiscent of Key West. If it's not, please feel free to correct me in the comments below. But I do gotta say, I am glad we are getting a long highway. It's gonna make for some nice long cruises, racing, and top speed runs. 
Moving to the next screenshot, we have what looks to be some sort of street takeover. I wonder if we'll have the ability to initiate these on our own, or if we'll just be able to see them throughout the world of GTA 6. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but this is a sign to me that the car scene is going to have a big role in this game. This next screenshot gives us another look at the PMP 700, and it also gives us a new look at a brand new vehicle based off of a Chevy stepside pickup truck, which is awesome. There also seems to be something going on where it's being recorded to social media. So is this part of the trailer or is it part of the story? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. All right, so for this next screenshot here, we have one of our other playable main characters, Jason. So I find it interesting that we only have two playable main characters in GTA 6 instead of the three like we did in GTA 5. But I guess having two characters makes sense here uh, now as we have the option to play as a male and a female or a female I'm sure that Rockstar is going to be releasing some Character trailers throughout the year of 2024 to kind of give us more insight and background on who these characters are Just like they did uh, with Michael Franklin and Trevor back in with GTA 5 They'll probably release some sort of character trailers here. So we'll just have to wait and see um, But overall should make for a very interesting storyline all right, moving on to this next screenshot here. Looks like we have both of our main characters uh, doing a little uh, convenience store robbery. I'm just gonna take a guess here and say that this is the event that kind of leads up to Lucia being in the prison. I could be way off here, but I know that we'll get more information um, about this in 2024. Um, I'm sure Rockstar will come out with some trailer, um, kind of like revealing some story bits here here and there so we'll just have to see wait and find out but it does look like a very interesting part of the story if it is i wouldn't be too surprised i would just say that but um no it should still make for an interesting storyline here um but that's just kind of what i'm thinking though um yeah the last screenshot we'll look at in this video is the new logo and the release year of 2025. I'm ready to learn more about this game and I definitely know that Rockstar will be dropping more info about this game in 2024. How do you guys feel about the trailer and are you guys ready for GTA 6? There is so much more to learn about this game with the cars, the characters, the missions, the story, and even the online aspect. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video here on the channel. I know I didn't get every single little piece and detail of this trailer, but I did go through some of the parts I thought were important. Let me know what you guys thought of the trailer in the comments below. If you guys did enjoy and would like to see more GTA 6, make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe for more content like this. And with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.